You want to come draw these? Come participate? I'm not what is You don't have to. Let's see. All right, we are live. So, what we've all been waiting for, the official women's bracket reveal. So, the way this is going to work is I tried to set up where you guys could see the bracket on the screen. Technical difficulties. So, I have it. Have it right here. After we get done, I'll create an image bracket and I'll post, you know, I'll post it so everybody can see. But I'll I'll slowly walk through and, you know, tell everybody kind of give some people some matchups. That way they have an idea. So let's see here. Let me make sure I got all these. All right, we got 12 names. All right, we're going to start with the, I'm going to start with the zero to 154. So. You don't want to be in camera? No. Come on. Get in camera. No. All right. Draw his name. I'm going to have my wife draw a name. She don't want to be on camera, though. So. I don't want to All right. First scared. name. I don't want to. First name it. is Ursula. So Ursula takes number one. She will take number one. So let me insert her here. All right. All right, draw us the second one. Candy Passmore. Candy is dandy. Candy Passmore. All right, inserting candy on number two. Let's see. All right. So candy goes number two. So at right now, that means candy will pull Ursula. Um, was that round, round seven? Uh, let's see here. I think. Oh, round one. Oh, round one. Thing. Candy and Ursula. All right, draw us a number or draw us a name. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Danielle. Danielle is number three. Oh, let's see. Don't want to spell her name wrong. All right. Danielle will be number three. That means Danielle will pull. She will pull Ursula around six. She will pull. Mm, where does she pull candy at? She. She will pull candy round seven. So, okay. This will all start shaking out once we plug more names in it, too. It'll be easier to see. All right. Next name is going to be Jesse. I know this is reversed for you guys, but you guys can see the names that we wrote. Jesse Androvich. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I already told my wife I'm going to butcher these names. So, bear with me on that. All right, so Jesse goes in number four. Kimberly. All right. Kimberly Wood. Kimberly Wood. She will be number five. All right. Next, who is number six? Sarah Ray Collins, number six. All right, number seven. Should be interesting. All right. I'm ready to hear some of the people talking. Marlene. Marlene will be number seven. All right, number eight. I'm excited. I'm not even looking at the matchups yet. I I'm going to. We're going to take that journey together. Number eight is Scarlet. Scarlet. All right. 
not? Give me a number nine. Give me a number nine. Ooh, number nine, Learen. Learen Wilson. Maybe one of the favorites, you know? Yeah. Number 10 is Annie. Annie is number 10. Do I have somebody else on here? Chris is on here. Uh, bring Chris back. Annie died again. Okay. Man down. Annie Mullen. Mm. Yeah, you about to butcher the hell out of that one. I'll pass on that one. I'll get I'll get that the day of the event. All right. Number eleven. Court. Court Farwell. I, I think that's her name. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All I think right. it's short for me, but and the last one is gonna be Bethany Ritchie. Bethany Ritchie. So she's number 12. All right. So let's break down some of these very quickly before we get to the 155 plus. All right. So round one. Um, round one, you're looking at Ursula versus Candy. Then you're looking at Danielle versus Bethany. Then you're looking at Jesse versus Court. Sarah Collins versus Lee Aaron. First round, Kimberly Wood and Annie and Marlene will pull Scarlet in round one. Okay, so round two, you get Marlene and Ursula. Should be good. Candy versus Bethany, Scarlet versus Sarah Ray, Learen versus Kimberly, Annie versus Jesse, Court versus Danielle. Okay. I'm trying to find some of these key matchups here. I was about to say you're you're looking for a, a big matchup, and I, we ain't got one yet. I don't think. Let's see. Round I'm three: talking. Court and Candy, Kimberly and Scarlett, Danielle and Annie. That that could have some potential there. Bethany and Ursula, Sarah Ray and Merlene. Round three. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a pretty good match. Jesse and Learen. I don't know much about Jesse though, so I. I I can't really comment on that. That's what we do this for, though. They want exactly. a platform to be, to be known. Well, they're pulling everybody now, so there's no way around it. Exactly. So, looking at round four, you got Scarlet and Candy. You got Ursula, Kimberly. You got Sarah Ray and Jesse. You got Annie and Court. You got Learen and Bethany. And you got Merlene and Danielle, round four. Mm -hmm. That's That's one. Oh, boy, that's one. That is going to be a good one. Three and fours were, well, no, 98 started off hot. So, yeah, it definitely did. So, round five, you got Scarlett and Bethany. You got Sarah Ray and Danielle. You got Kimberly Wood, Jesse, Candy Passmore and Merlene, Annie and Ursula, Court and Learen. So, you know, round five, you know, that's when things are starting to shake out. Yeah, they'll start separating herself five or six. Yeah. All right, so round six, you got Kimberly and Bethany. You got Sarah and Court. You got Candy Passmore, Jesse. You got Merlene and Annie. You got Scarlett versus Learen, and you got Danielle versus Ursula. So that's round six, pretty good. Round seven, ooh, here's the one. Round seven, Scarlett and Ursula. Bethany versus Jesse. Sarah versus Annie. Merlene versus Lee Aaron, Kimberly versus Court, and Candy versus Danielle. So, you know, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know all these ladies. I know probably 80% of them, and I know what the public opinion is. And the public opinion says Merlene and Lee Aaron are the two favorites. And you got to throw Danielle in there, of course. But that's going to be a match that's circled right there, Lee Aaron versus Merlene for sure. Round well, I can seven. tell everybody. Is it doesn't matter who's favored. I wasn't favored. Correct. Cody Wood wasn't favored. I mean, anything can happen. Got to use your brain. 
going in trying to get in hook wars with everybody, it's not smart. Correct. Correct. You got to be tackled. You got to be, got to pull it off. It's, it's not easy. None of this is going to be easy, but you have to be very smart and strategic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, round A, you got Bethany in court. You got Sarah Ray Ursula, Learen, and Danielle. So, that's interesting because if you look at Learen, if she gets in a war with Marlene, that's round seven. She's going to turn around and pull Danielle, who is a damn powerhouse. Round eight. So that could be some trouble, you know. Um, man, that's going to be exciting. So then you got Scarlett and Jesse. You got Marlene pulls Kimberly Wood that round. So I don't know too much about Kimberly. And so you look at six or seven. Remember where we had going into like round, what, 10? There was like a six-way tie. Yeah. This right here, if, if those two matches right there become worse and kill it, those three, what are the rest sitting there doing? All you got to do is win out. Yep, exactly, exactly. So, Candy's going to pull Annie round eight. That's going to wrap up round eight. Round nine, you got Bethany versus Annie. You got Court versus Ursula. Marlene versus Jesse. Sarah versus Kimberly. Scarlett versus Danielle. And Learen versus Candy. So, that's round nine. Uh, round ten, you got Annie versus Learen. You got Court versus Scarlett. Ursula versus Jesse, Kimberly versus Danielle, Marlene versus Bethany Ritchie, Sarah Ray versus Candy. So, um, and then to wrap it up, round 11. And again, just like Robbie said, 76 is, we had a six way tie going into round 10 or 11. So it's an important round. You may think you're gassed. And before I go any further, I'll be honest, man. And I know you competed in it and I competed in the 54. Mm hmm. A lot of people think going into this, oh, dude, I'm going to be done for by round seven. I didn't think that was the case. I really I did. Four, three, four more rounds pretty easy. I think I was good to go, you know, and I think a lot of people were too. I think Hunter would have told you the same thing. Hey, bring me 12 more. Um, Craig, I mean, you and Craig, you guys could have went for another six to seven matches, I, I feel like. Pretty easy. I wouldn't so even I know it's. It's intimidating when you see a 12-man round robin, but I think they overthink it a little bit. I really do. I don't think you're going to be as wore out as you think. Well, the people that can avoid the wars, I think, are the ones that will do that. I didn't really – my longest match was against Adam, and it probably wasn't even five or six seconds long. I mean, Exactly. It was exactly. So, round, rounding it out, round 11, you got Court versus Merlene. You got Bethany versus Sarah Collins. You got Candy Passmore versus Kimberly Wood. You got Danielle Evanson versus Jesse. You got Ursula versus Lee Aaron. And you got Annie versus Scarlett. So that is the 154 round robin. And again, I know I kind of just rambled on about that. I will post a picture of this and send it to the group chat for the girls so everybody can see their lineups. So, um, yeah, that's the 154. Going to be very exciting to see it. Um, like Robbie said, if, if everybody has their favorites, the public opinion has their favorites. They're always going to give their opinion, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter at all, honestly. Uh, I was favored to take fifth. Anything. You took, there you go. All right. So let me get these 155 plus ladies. Get their names here real quick, and we'll get this thing started. I'm excited, man. I, I feel like this is a little bit more of an unknown, you know, just because I don't know all the ladies. Plus, you well, look at the go night, out. They're so going to go out and, and pull each other the, the way that we do. I mean, our depth is just much more um, – What's the word? Uh, not extravagant, but just we're deeper in general. Yeah, the field now, is way deeper. You got everybody deeper. in the same room. Like you're gonna know where you're staying for the most part now. Period. Well, not only that. I mean, well, you said it. I mean, you look at the '98s, right? Mm -hmm. How many of those guys have you ever pulled? You had pulled Craig. You had pulled Adam. Um, I pulled Casey some. Casey uh, Artem, Artem. Uh, Bob, Quinlan. You pulled a lot of them, right? Well, I I'll, think these, I'll pull probably two thirds of the guys before. There you go. I think with these women, that ain't the case. I don't think that's the case at all. 
I'll be one about half of them's never even met. Yep. So that's the fun part about it, especially with the women. Um, they're being overly respectful, though, you know. Too nice. Too nice, guys. Too nice. They're going to have to I get can, over that. I, I mean, I, I, I love the camaraderie and the respect and all that stuff because, I mean, I, I give it too. But at the end of the day, when I step to that table, I'm there to kill you. I, I don't. I don't, I'm not your friend. I'm not friends with anybody. And I'm learning that slowly and slowly. And the faster I get there, the better I become. Like when you're, when you're nice, you, you give too much up in the setup and you know, you, you're not as aggressive. Well, you're learning that you can be buddies with people, right? Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to the competition, you might not be as buddy with them as you think, you know, like you may think you're one way and then you're like, Wait a damn minute. Really? Okay. I see how it is. And then it changes the game and it kind of turns it up a, a little bit more. So, you know, I have that problem too. I'm friends with everybody. So when I yeah. compete, it's hard to take my promoter cap off because I'm like, hey, man, thank you for coming to my tournament. Now let's arm wrestle, right? It's, it's People hard. People you think that, that like you or respect you, exactly. they don't. They fear you. So make exactly. them fear you a little bit more. Yep. Yep. And that's what you got to do. Let's see. Jocelyn says quiet doesn't mean nice. Hey, you're right. I haven't seen you talking much. So I'm quiet. There you Show go. Show up and kill. All right. Let's do it. 155 plus. Here we go. Number one. Let's see here. Let me get this. All right. Number one. First one is going to be Brandy Stark. Brandy Stark. So I know of Brandy. She is a she's a legend. They better not sleep on her. She's been pulling a long, long time. Let's see. Danielle says gonna try and end matches as fast as possible. No messing around with this many competitors. Correct. Great strategy to have. Because if you look at the three winners of our round four, really, 54s, hundred dollars, speed. 98s, Craig Tulier, speed. 76s, 100 knobs, speed. Eli, speed. Go watch the matches. You can see how the winner wins, and they win quick. You, you don't want to get in there in the grinder. All right, number two. Number two is going to be Kylie Taylor. So Kylie is the youngest out of this group, and she is taking a big leap, I will say. Um, she is, I want to say 15 years old. So 15, I believe she's 15, 15 or 16 one. Now she does have good wins. I will say that. And she trains with Ron Bath and all them. So she's not like, Hey, let me put my arm. No, she knows what she's doing. So be interested to see how she turns out. I just so. hope her frame holds up. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say that for bad luck, but yeah. At 15, oh. there's some things you just don't know. You're going correct, to be correct. the best in the world. It's – she was one of the first ones to get in it, too. Like, she was very – her dad was very eager for her. They they talked to me, and they're like, hey, I wouldn't put her in there if I didn't have faith in her. I get it. You know, you're – Yeah, I go back to when we was in Atlanta. Remember when you had that bodybuilder and his wife, he was over pumping her up. Oh, she's so strong, this, that, and the other. Look what Candy did to her. Exactly. It doesn't so, matter sometimes. It's going to be one to watch. That is going to be a name because, hey, let's twist it around. Let's say she finishes top four or five in this crazy-ass one. Yeah. Plus. Can you talk about how her head, like, head. she won't be able to walk around. It's going to be so big. Yeah, I rock it. Everybody's going to know her name. It's going to be a hype. All right, number three. Oh, wait. Yeah, number three. Let me see here. All right, number three. It's going to be Martha Swick. Martha. This is another one. I don't know much about Martha. Do you? She good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't remember who suggested her to me. She was er she was in it early. So I can't Martha's remember. always that quiet one, but when you see her, you're going to know who she is. Because I know you've seen her. I know you have. I have I? Mm -hmm. She gets around. Okay. All right, so Mar I think Tim Talmadge uh, recommended her, I, I want to say. Is she from out that way? 
Martha, if I'm not mistaken, is from Northeast. Okay, maybe maybe it wasn't. Tim. I think I can't it's been a while. Aftermath Arm says very very well rounded forward. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. I got to do my research. I'll be the first to say I don't know all these women. I'm trying to learn. We want to expand, you know, the sport. We want to get all these women involved. She, you know, my worry with her is she she's very well rounded, but she it's almost like she loves a war. Like yeah, Jocelyn says she competed at Arnold's last year. Okay, hey, okay. If you compete at Arnold's, you're you're worthy, you know. All right, number four. Who's it gonna be? Lucky. Lucky is number four. All right. So Lucky was the late addition. Um she's new to the sport, very eager, um, really wanted in this thing. And you know, let me say this first because there might have been some confusion with the Facebook posts and stuff. We never didn't want someone in this. And Robbie can attest to this. There was never a scenario where we just didn't want somebody in. We want the most worthy people. And we don't want to put people in a situation where, you know, and I'm not saying Lucky's going to do that. I'm just using this for an example. We don't want to put somebody in there that we're like, man, she might go 0 and 11. That, that, that doesn't hurt not only the event, but it hurts someone's morale, you know, right? Because if you go in here and you go 0 and 11, you're going to rethink a lot, right? Yeah. So it was never like that. It was just really taking our time to find the best candidate. So, and she was it. You know, we talked it over. Robbie, me and him had a lot of discussions. And he was very on like, hey, you know, she's won some states. And hey, she just won nationals a couple uh, this past weekend, right? So mm -hmm. Lucky's in there. And she is number four. And, um, you know, good luck to her. She could shake things up. She's uh, the host of the All Women's Podcast. So if y'all want to go subscribe to that, please do. All right. Number five. Number five. Jolene Anderson. Jolene Anderson. That is another one I am not familiar with. But I heard them mention her on Jody Williams' podcast. And Jody talked very highly of her. So Jody knows arm wrestlers, you know. So, hey, I'm not sure about her, though. Do you Do you know her? I know she got a song made after her. So. She got a what? A song made after her. Sing it. Good. Sing it real quick. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think she's going to take everybody's arm is what I hear. I want to say Jolene's from uh, Utah, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, but somewhere out there, I believe. So, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like the 55 plus is a little bit more. Uh, this is more of the ladies that I don't really know. All right. Number six. Christina Casto. Christina Casto. I know Christina very well. Very well. Um, quick story. You know, everybody knows I've been around the sport for years. I remember being five years old at Ohio State, which was the tournament back in the day. And Christina is the badass running around whooping all the women's ass. And, you know, she, Christina was a bad lady and she still is. You know, she competes at Arnold's. Um, she's a certified ref, very worthy, very excited to see what she can do. She's in the group. She's in the group chat talking about how old she is, but hey, that doesn't mean nothing. Reverse psychology. Exactly. So, comment real quick. Apparently, Jolene has won world. She's she has a world title. So, hey, okay, more accomplished than I am. So that's that's all I need to know. So, all right, number seven, number seven. So we're halfway there. Where are these names going to start to fall? All right, here we go. Who is that? Angie Rose. Angie Rose. Okay. So, Angie, another legend. We got to train with her not too long ago at Rex's. Um, she's very excited for this round robin. Um, everybody knows Angie Rose, you know. You saw her on WAL, you know. You saw her on all these high-end events. So it's good to have her in there. And she'll be a favorite, I believe. I do believe so. All right. 
Five more names to go. There's still a couple names we're looking for here. All right. Shauna Wagner. Shauna Wagner. All right. So Shauna is another late entry. Um, I don't know much about Shauna. I did go scout her out a little bit when we were trying to pick these final candidates. I saw her pull with Annie, I believe. And, you know, obviously they're in different weight classes, but, you know, usually tournaments, they do an open weight anyway, right? But she had a good match with Annie, so, you know, and Annie's a very worthy puller, so, hey, uh, be interested to see what she can do. I'm not sure where she's from. I think Iowa, maybe. All right, so number nine, number nine. There it is. Sarah Bachman, the queen of arm wrestling. Here we go. She's in number nine. Obviously, the public would say the number one favorite. Um, I don't have to say anything about Sarah. Everybody knows Sarah Bachman. Um, legend. Probably carries women arm wrestling for a while. Um, and still carrying it, you know. Um, she's a legend, you know. At least for North America. I mean... I mean, she. When you think about a worldwide, globally, she's mountain. Yeah, when you think about a professional women's arm wrestler, I mean, I'm not taking anything away from these other ladies, but when I think of a professional women's arm wrestler on the world level, I think of Sarah Bachman. You know, like when she moved here, that was a huge deal. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I can't wait to look at some of these matchups real quick. All right, let's get this done real quick. Number ten. Jacqueline, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Jacqueline O. Oberbreckling. So, Jacqueline, I don't know much about her. I really don't. Um, but a lot of people say she's good. So, you know, we'll see. I think she's from like uh, maybe the Midwest could be wrong let's see Jacqueline multiple time state champion don't sleep on her or she'll sleep with your girl oh I'm your wife what? I don't know there was a comment and then Mad Marshall says Sarah is too classy no drama whatsoever I agree with that I agree with that Danielle says Jacqueline from Iowa okay I like how we have a big group from everywhere you know it's not not really all centered in one spot all right here we go number 11 Paige Williams Paige Williams that's another lady I'm not too familiar with I don't have much to add to that you know I just don't know you know um, not sure where she's from either and then the last name Jocelyn Apparently, we got to watch out for Jocelyn because they said she is to be considered a favorite. Um, anybody knows Jocelyn? Have you seen what that woman lifts? That's what I was about to get to. Jocelyn is a she smokes me on a bench. Powerhouse. What's her bench? Four, three some? More than mine. That's all I know. Exactly. Same here. So Jocelyn is. Uh, yeah, she's is she from Canada? Yeah. Oh, Jocelyn's in here. Jocelyn, where are you from? I don't want to get it wrong. We got more viewers on this than we have it. Oh, Sarah Wilson says 315 is her bench. Yeah, hey, I can't that. The I most I ever bench was 295, and that was my skinny ass. So you got me beat by several pounds. That's going to be crazy. Um, Let's see. Aftermath Arm says, thank you, Beast Mode Arm Wrestling, for these wicked events. Everybody give a like. Hey, appreciate the shout-out. Appreciate the shout-out. Who else is in here? You guys hey, Chris. Hear me? What's up, hey. buddy? I didn't even know you were in here, man. Well, he's still working, if you can't tell. Out here earning that money for his round robins. Got to make that round robin money so we can keep doing well, this thing. <laughs> all right. So, we got all the names in there. Let's break down some of these. Some of these. Oh, wait. 
Who is the line? Okay, there we go. There, updated. Okay, so round one. Oh, we got Brandy Stark, Kylie Taylor. We got Martha Swick, Jocelyn Brisson, Lucky Wood, Paige Williams, Christina Casto, Sarah Bachman, Jolene Anderson, and Jacqueline, Angie Rose, and Shauna. So, Christina draws Sarah Bachman first round. That's going to be interesting because Christina's legit. Does she have enough to get through through Sarah? I, I don't know. I'm not going to make any predictions. But that's going to be an interesting one. Um, round two, you got Angie and Brandy. You got Kylie and Jocelyn. You got Shauna and Christina. You got Sarah Botman and Jolene Anderson. So, hey, two world champions right there. Round two. Um, you got Jacqueline and Lucky. And you got Paige and Martha. So, man, it's hard for me to really give much commentary because I don't know a lot of these ladies. So I'm just kind of, you know, y'all in the comments, what? feel free to, you know, comment different matchups that you're excited to see about. Um, round three, Kylie Taylor, Paige Williams, Jolene and Shauna, Martha Swick, Jacqueline, Jocelyn versus Brandy, Christina Casto versus Angie Rose. That'll be good. Lucky versus Sarah. So Lucky's getting, you know, the favorite round three. She's going to find out, favorite. you know, what, where she's at, you know. And she could surprise. She really could. Sarah's got Jolene round two. You never know. What if Sarah gets into a five-minute war? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. All right. Let's see. Round four. We got Shauna and Kylie. We got Brandy and Jolene. We got Christina Casto versus Lucky. We got Jacqueline versus Paige. Sarah Bachman versus Jocelyn, round four. Powerhouses, that's going to be crazy. And then Angie Rose versus Martha. So, I mean, Sarah's, when does she pull? I mean, who who would you say the favorites are going to be in this, you know? Sarah, of course, you know. Angie? Angie's got to be a favorite. Jolene. It's so hard because the, the names that I do know, I look at them, I'm like, close, close, close. Yeah, exactly. It's hard for me to say that one just stands out from the other, other than the, the name recognition and stuff of Sarah. Like, Correct. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be real crazy. All right, so round five, we got Shauna and Jocelyn. We got Christina Casto and Martha Swick. We got Jolene Anderson and Lucky Wood. Kylie Taylor and Angie Rose. Those are two training partners. And apparently Kylie was battling with Angie pretty good. So, you know, that could be interesting. Especially, again, her being 15, she's got all the favorites round one through five. So that's it's crazy. Um, Jacqueline and Brandy and then Paige Williams versus Sarah Bachman. Um, round six, you got Jolene and Jocelyn. You got Christina and Paige. You got Kylie Taylor and Lucky Wood. Okay, so that that's one I'm on a circle just because. Lucky's coming up. Kylie's young. She's coming up. That could be, you know, the battle for the next come up. You never know. Um, Angie's gonna pull Jacqueline. Shauna will pull Sarah Bachman. Martha will pull Brandy. Um, round seven, you got Shauna and Brandy. You got Jocelyn and Lucky. You got Christina and Jacqueline. You got Angie and Angie Rose, Sarah Bachman. Round seven. There it is. There's the one that I would say several people will circle. Jolene versus Paige and Kylie Taylor versus Martha. You got round eight, you got Jocelyn and Paige, Christina Castro versus Brandy, Sarah Bachman versus Mar Martha Swick, Shauna versus Lucky, Jolene versus Angie. That's probably going to be two world champions right there, Angie and jo uh, Jolene, and then Jacqueline and Kylie. So, then we're looking at our final three rounds. You got Jocelyn versus Jacqueline. You got Paige and Brandy. You got Angie versus Lucky. You got Christina versus Jolene, Shauna versus Martha, Sarah Bachman versus Kylie Taylor. Let's be real. An amateur with such limited experience. 
Okay, maybe she is an amateur, but just like the like a lot of the women that's in here, they don't get to get out and pull thirty events, you know, and fifty other people. There's only so many women, so to say someone's really an amateur, you could probably say that against most of the women that's in here. Yeah. Correct. True. You know, the field's just not as deep. They don't they don't have, you know, fifteen hundred guys to choose from to pull with, you know, on any given day. They don't they have most of the time two classes to pull. Somebody like me where I can pull three or four classes at one event. Like I'm just capable of having so much more experience. Apparently, Aftermath Arm says Casto and Swick pulled a war last time they went. So when was that that they pulled? Uh, Martha and – where is that? Let's see. Martha – I've seen that one. Yeah. Christi okay, so round five. Round five, Christina and Martha will pull. So that will be another one I'll start with. That's that's interesting. All right, so round ten, you got Jacqueline and you got Sarah Bachman. You got Paige Williams versus Shauna. You got Brandy Stark versus Lucky. You got Joey yeah, versus not. Martha. Angie Rose versus Jocelyn, and Christina Casto versus Kylie Taylor. So, and then final round, Paige Williams versus Angie Rose. Jocelyn versus Christina. Kylie Taylor versus Jolene Anderson, Martha Swick versus Lucky Wood, Brandy Stark versus Sarah Bachman, and Jacqueline versus Shauna. And that will wrap it up to the 155 plus. That's going to be a day, boys. And so just to recap, the 155 plus will pull Friday night, March, not, not March, May 17th at 6 p.m. So it'll be live on more than likely it'll be live on 217. Um, he's coming in, of course, but usually we do Friday nights live on my channel, but since we're doing two round robins, we'll, we'll do it on 217. Um, so yeah, weigh-ins will be that day. Obviously, the 155 plus don't have to weigh in, so that's why we did it on Friday night. And then Saturday at 11 I think, don't quote me on that. 11, I believe, is going to be the 0 to 154. And uh, hopefully after that, all the ladies will jump in the tournament and pull left-handed in the biggest women bracket ever. That would be that'd be badass. That I know they've already be awesome. been talking about it in the chat. So. And, again, women's classes at our tournaments, free, $0. So if you're a woman... And you want to come up and just be in the room with these girls. Come up, watch it, get in the regular tournament. You can probably grip up with them left-handed. I'd say a lot of them will pull. So, but yeah, that wraps it up. Um, I don't know what time it is. I know Robbie, you got to go to work soon. Yep. Um, but yeah. So, hopefully, y'all enjoyed that. I know I wanted the screen on here, but technical difficulties. I'll I'll get the image bracket and I'll. I'll post it so everybody can see the matchups. But we're very excited. And um, anything you guys want to add before we get off? Come ready. I don't really have nothing. Enough. I, I just can't wait. Like you're probably never going to get this experience again. Yeah, no. I, I know I'm biased, right? These are our events. But I cannot think of another women event where it's this deep. You could say Worlds. You could say Arnold's. But, I mean, who all gets to go to Worlds? Who all gets to go to Arnold's? Not everybody. So, I've been to a lot of events. I've pulled a lot of places, and yeah, you'll you'll get nicer venues and you know, brighter lights, and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, we all pull to do something we love and pull against the best, right? So, when you step to the table at this event, our goal this whole time has been to get the best that we can get. To go head to head, you know that's that was that's been the goal. Just know yes, we, we've did our best, and be ready, come ready, because this is going to be harder than a lot of you think. Like, if you're not smart, if you, if you go in and you try and get in wars, it's probably not going to turn out in your favor. But if you're just that, if you're that woman that can just go in here and stand toe to toe with every single oh. person, just have your way, you're going to stand out. You're going to be seen. Me and Brent will happen when 
soon enough. I really oh. know. And he's the name that I have circled probably in my top two or three. But right now, me and Brent's got the, East, the Eastern guys to worry about. When you get where me and him are, at some point, we got to stop being enemies or, you know, opponents of each other and start helping each other out. I was I got, wondering where you got that from. I see that. I got big plans. Hell like, yeah. Me and Brent all, all happen. We ain't running from each other. We just, we have the same goal, but in a different place. Hey, and you can see Brent in competition in the 220 round robin at Arizona State. He's already committed. His money's in. We're good to go. He's locked and loaded. So I would say he's probably considered one of the favorites in that 220 round robin June 1st. That'll be interesting. But before I go any further, I do want to shout out my man Chris right here. This was his idea. Um, you know, skeptical. You got to be skeptical when you're trying to throw a women's event. You do. Um, it's been tried. To, it's tried to been done by uh, Sarah. Sarah Collins tried to do it. It was successful. It slowly teetered off. She put tons of money into it, and it just it's hard to really do. It really is. And Chris came up with the idea. He's like, look. We put these men on the stage. We have to do it for the women. And we're doing the same money as the men. You know, you will not find that anywhere where the women's prize money is the same for the men at this level. You know, we're giving away $6,400 amongst both classes. Paying out all the way through six. You know, so I got to give a shout out to Chris. You see him. He's got his work clothes on. He's coming up with the money. He's putting up the money for this. You know, Bob Brown's another one that's put up, <clears throat> put up money. We've had a couple sponsors, um, Lucky Ones Podcast, um, Long Drives for Veterans, um, Texas Arm uh, Arm Wrestling League. Um, you know, we have had support here, but again, this is Chris's idea, baby, and we ran with it. And Robbie has helped a bunch He's in the group chat, really orchestrating things. I couldn't do it without these guys. But we are going to rock the show, and we cannot wait until May 17th. All right, guys. If that's it, then we are going to call it a night. And, um, yeah, go share this. And uh, I'll, I'll post the bracket, imi uh, bracket images here soon. All right, guys. Peace.